This is an atelier, and these are 10 of my favorite items from my first collection. And then let's add HQ. I was gonna say, and by the way, I'm Pharrell. <laughs> the way that I design, the way I've always designed is from the perspective of the consumer. And it's interesting because I have specific tastes, but at the same time, I also want it to be a bit democratic, you know, like a fragrance. It's always gonna smell different on someone else. The balancing act there is like what moves me, but at the same time, can allow another person and this particular item to take on a life of its own and an identity of its own. These are the millionaires. We start working on them, and I may be wrong, but I think it was the end of 03, and they came out in 04. I met Mark at the 57th Street opening of LV, and I came in with one of his silk scarves, Murakami silk scarf, like around my face, like on some hood shit. Obviously, you know, I I'm not a gangster, but I always love like pulling certain things. I'm a people watcher, pulling certain things and incorporating it my way. He was like, I like your sunglasses. Do you want to come make some? And I was like, well, yeah, but Nigo made these. Can we bring them? And he was like, yeah, so we started working then. And I think technically it's been like 20 years. I hate when they put stuff in here because I always wanted to like slouch down. So one of the things I wanted to do when I got here is I definitely wanted to work on the bags. I took inspiration from Canal Street. When you feel this, and I know you guys don't want to do that, but look, when have you ever seen a Louis bag do that? What's it feel like? Butter. Come on. This is like, you know what I'm saying? It's a different vibe. So we just leveled it up. Now, we still make the canvas ones, but still at that price point. And then when you go in the store, you're not going to see this like laying around. You got to go in the back like you would on Canal Street. And then you get the laminate and you look at it and you like choose. The difference is this is really soft, crushed, buttery leather. And when it goes to production, it's going to be like two times as soft than this. But I want people to know like you've leveled up. This is a level up. Virgil said his first memory of LV was you carrying that coin purse. Are you honoring him in any way with this collection? Yeah, we're honoring him. I mean, there are things in there that are kind of like I'm collaborating with his spirit. You know, when he passed and they did his last show, it's surreal because you're seeing his work. You feel in his, the taste of his music. You see in the taste of his clothes and the different people that are walking in the show. That was a crazy feeling. So it's like this weird energetic connection that continues and I'm just, I'm just honored. I wanted to concentrate on like eye shapes for sunglasses first. Usually people concentrate on frames, but I wanna make it so that like wherever the lens is on your face makes you more of like a character whenever you take a photo. I wanted you to be able to like put these on and literally it's like looking at a filter. Surprisingly, they work on everyone. There's a reason why Wayfarers work the way they do. It's the frame, but it's also the shape. Aviators too, it just works. How do you do that? Some sketches, also some references. Chopping at the bit until you feel like you got it. What's the price point on this gonna be? I don't be thinking about the prices. <laughs> That's not my appointment. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't wanna put the other ones on, but if you just... No, you want me to? Yeah, I really do, yeah. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I mean, it's a specific thing. You got to see the other ones we did with the pearls, like even taller. It's a lot like making music. There's the basis, there's the other integral parts, and then there's like the way you finish it. Just a little touch of this or a little touch of that. And accessories, to me, do that. Every phase and every step is just as important as the, as the beginning. I'm excited about this because one, I like camo. Two, one of the things that I wanted to do when I got here was I wanted to use Damier as like a canvas to like communicate certain ideas. So we created Damouflage, like Digicam. It's called Damouflage. Damier is the chessboard pattern that you see on LV products sometimes. It's like actually more classic. And so I wanted to bring it back and do it in a different kind of way. This one is mine. It says the sun is shining on us. But on the back of all the other ones that will be commercially available, it will say lovers. I just wanted to give love and respect back to a city that has been showing me so much love 
you know, for like 30 years since I've been in the music industry. Never ever dreamt that I would ever be able to touch the Eiffel Tower and the idea that like some of my friends are giants here and they've been holding me up for so many years. When I got this appointment, I'm like, man, I gotta give back the love because we want you to be very clear that this ain't no war. This is the exact opposite. This is love. It's love standing here. Just like a big overcoat in Damier, but just the vibe though, bro. I don't know how anybody else starts, but I like silhouettes first. The details were very important to me, working on all the key components, trying to raise the bar for the codes. These are super comfy, but I got some other slides that y'all gotta see. It's crazy. And you know, the Damier print, obviously, but they like super comfy. This particular pair is just a sample, so this is just the one we launched. Who will wear them? I, I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm not the person that can afford it. They're a pretty book. I design and create and aspire for the person who is the customer, right? Someone that has disposable income. They probably go to like celebrations and events. I want that category to be like a lifestyle. Then there is comfort, not just leisure, but clothes that are comfortable to put on. You know, you hop in your whip and you go to the gas station for whatever, or you go to Whole Foods to go get milk or whatever it is that you're doing, you need to be comfortable. So there's that mode. Then there is resort. This person more than likely, like if you have that disposable income, what are you thinking about and what's convenient for you during your vacation? Then the fourth category is sport, different sports that you're enthusiastic about, whether it's like rugby, which we made like leather rugbies. A lot of thin leather coming, a lot of thin leather and things that you look at and you think, oh, those are khakis. No, there's khakis, but then there's a thin leather version. Lastly are the core staples. Those are the things that like, we get excited about that we know that we're gonna be able to bring back over and over again. Every season, you're gonna be able to walk in there and get another flavor, another material exploration. The synonym for luxury should be convenience. That's luxury to me.